What's going on everybody? Welcome to part two of the Howlite series. In this video, what we're gonna be going over is how to go about improving your AI from this point. So um, I'm gonna kind of just go through the pipeline process that I've been doing to incrementally improve my AI. So first of all, like I was saying in the previous video, it's fun to watch the games that you've won, but I tend to get the most from the games that I lose. <laughs> and if I do watch the games that I've won, I actually am usually looking at why did I win, like wh why did the other person lose? Pretty much, I just like to look at why are people losing. <laughs> so you can actually learn a lot too from watching not just your games, but other people's games, especially better player games. Um, anyways, uh, what I'm gonna do is just replay a game here. I'm the purple player here. And um, let's just kind of try to identify some of the problems here. So right out of the gate, one of the problems is all of our ships are going to the exact same place and also passing a lot of planets along the way. Um, also, we can see here, like this is a horrible example where, uh, let me just go back a tiny bit. Like, not only are we behind, we're not going to win the race to this planet. Why are all of our ships going to this same exact planet? That's kind of a problem. Um, and then basically uh, we're, we're losing battles with other ships. We've gotten ourselves blown up and then there we've been totally eliminated. But at least right out of the gate, you know, even in the beginning too, we passed a lot of good planets. <laughs> you know, we're just trying to head to the center, um, which is not the greatest idea. Um, but really, we just need to pick maybe one or two things that we want to improve for now, see how we did, and then continue to improve from there. So I'm going to go ahead and change a couple of things. One thing... I guess really I'm going to change one thing, but because we're changing one thing, we want to change one more thing. And that is, first of all, our ships are headed to the exact same planet. Instead, let's say we want to make all of our ships head to unique planets. Now, if we're going to do that, the next thing that we want to go ahead and do is right now all of our ships are traveling at half speed. Let me go ahead and just open up the AI so you can see. So this is the script um, for our AI. Again, this is the exact, this is just the starter bot. There's nothing else I've changed yet. Um, if we scroll on down to the speeds that we're, we're traveling at, it's always at like the max speed divided by two. Um, what we want to do is probably stop doing that as well. As long as our ships are going in different directions, we're not so likely to run into ourselves. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that as well. And, and let's see what kind of change that makes for us. So let's just say right now, we are rank 22,346. Let's make these edits and see how our rank changes. So uh, to begin, um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, uh, so so when we submit, like I was saying before, it always has to be called in title case, you know, mybot.py. So generally what I do when I create new versions is I'll just copy and paste the old version and then I'll rename one of them to be mybot-v1, right? So that's v1, and then I'll edit the new one, which we've actually already got it up, um, and then I'll just call it settler um, v2, right? So that's v2. So um, so that, that's like the changes I'll make in the directory. Um, now what we need to do is also, if we're gonna use this bat, uh, what we're gonna do is edit that, and then we need not only run my bot, but now we need to run my bot in v1. Um, I'm actually just going to manually run this command so it doesn't go away, but you could also run the bat. Anyway, it's not important, but <laughs> make sure you make those edits. Now, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to move this aside. And like I said, uh, let's go ahead and modify the speed first. So max speed divided by two. Let's just not divide by two. Uh, and then do we travel anywhere else? No. So it's just in that one spot that we're going to go ahead and change. So, um, so we're going to divide by two there, and then let's go ahead and make sure they don't all go to the same planet. So the way that we're going to do that is just, let's just make a list. So planned underscore planets. And for now that just starts as an empty list. Now, if our ship decides to go to one of these planned planets, uh, we just need to add that in. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here for ship. Basically here, if the ship is docked, we just skip it. Uh, and then we start iterating over these planets. If the planet is owned, um, then we're going to skip that planet. If the pla if the ship can dock at the planet, well, we want to dock. Otherwise, we're traveling to the planet. And this is where the problem's happening. It's, it's when many, many, many ships are traveling to that same planet that's causing trouble for us. So in here, in this else, this is where we're going to add kind of our new 
logic. And that's going to be, first of all, we're going to just start by saying if the planet is in our planned planets, we basically just want to skip this planet and continue to the next planets. So we're just going to say continue. Now, um, otherwise, else, we're going to run this. So let me just pass that over there. And now what we want to do is if, if we do start navigating to this planet, basically at this point, once we've added it to the command queue, you know, it's a plan. So, so let's go ahead and add it. So we're going to say planned underscore planets uh, dot append. And we're going to append the planet. So once we've done that, um, that's, we're just going to make those two tiny changes, I think, for now. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, I'm going to close out. And what we want to do is first, let's go ahead and run this. Um, I'm going to run it with, uh, so I'm going to go to this address bar here, hit CMD. And uh, we actually could just run run game.bat like that runs through all the turns, and then we basically get to see, okay, what happened at the very end. Actually, these are all being called Settler V2. That's kind of problematic. Uh, why did that happen? Settler V2, and then this one should have been... Why did that happen? Did this not get edited, possibly? Oh, I didn't... I guess I didn't save the edit that I made. I see. Anyway, I'll just copy the command. Let's run that one more time. Copy, paste, run it. Okay, so Settler v2 came in rank one. Let's just run it one more time. Um, Settler v2 came in rank one. Uh, another time for a good measure. Yep, Settler v2 comes in rank one. Okay, we're pretty confident that's uh, good, but let's go ahead and check a replay real quick. Let's just make sure that we haven't made any serious mistakes. So V2 is our purple. Sure enough, he's going to unique planets every time. Um, oh, we just ran into ourselves. That's problematic. We're also traveling pretty fast. Let's speed it up. Um, so he's getting planets and all that, but yeah, we've definitely secured our victory at this point. Okay, cool. Looking good, looking good. Let's go ahead and uh, submit it. So what we're gonna do is take mybot.py, the Halite part of the HLT directory. We're gonna go ahead and send to, compressed, and we'll call this submission2.zip, and submit a bot. And uh, yeah, just drag that in there. So this just tells you, you wanna pay attention to the version number. Um, so we'll submit the bot because you can see here in uh, this old replay, it was on V6. So now we're going to be curious about V7. So it says it'll play within the next 15 minutes. But like I said before, it's usually pretty darn quick. Um, I wouldn't even be surprised if this one, since this is at the same minute mark. Let's see if, the, nope, that's still V6. Let's go back. So actually we're ranked 2403 right now. Um, Surprised it hasn't played any more games. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording now, wait a few minutes, and then I'll start it back up and we'll kind of see how, how we've been doing. Okay, at this point, it's been about only, only about three minutes, and at least the last V6 game I played, I was ranked around 2,500, and we've already dropped to 2,256, but that's probably going to be pretty volatile uh for the next probably while so yeah 2274 as you can see we're, we're making quite a few victories i think that'll this will probably continue to fall um i was hoping to see that we would maybe even breach the 2000s but or you know get into actually really the the 1000s uh but let's see why we lost various games and also why we won various games so let's go ahead and check out a couple in fact let me just sorry i, I think i still had an old one up i just don't want to get confused so this is a game that we've won, I believe. And we actually blew ourselves up, I think, initially there. Um, but as you can see, first of all, these other players are traveling very slow. So probably one of the major reasons why we're winning right now is we're traveling very fast. And they just blew, these, <laughs> blew themselves up, basically. And we ran into them too, I guess. But yeah, unfortunately, we blew our ships up again. So that's probably why we lost. So it's a major issue that needs to probably be addressed. We almost beat them to that planet. Bomber.
and then we're just spawning ships. So right away I can see probably what we want to do is start attacking. Like if we just attack this one guy, we could steal this planet and we probably could have stolen this planet. By now, obviously there's a bunch of uh, ships, but even if we scroll back kind of initially, we could have started attacking this planet, this planet, we could have definitely taken this one. So a lot of these ships, are, I'm sorry, our planets would have been super easy to take over at this point. Um, okay. Let's refresh again. Just kind of see where we are now. Um, okay, yeah, so we now we are in we're 1974, so we're slowly still improving our rank. Um, this is the highest rank you've ever achieved. This is the rank you are right now. So um, I'm actually not even sure how this one got achieved. This is a new account, so <laughs> it must have been like a really temporary rank. Like sometimes you might initially win a bunch of games and your rank will get really good and then you'll actually finally settle at a certain number. I, I'm going to wager this was a fluke. Um, because actually, like we saw before, even when I uploaded this one, my rank was actually going up. I, I think I hit like a 2600, I think, before it started going down again. So it, there's so much as to chance that, you know, temporarily you might hit a really high rank that you don't actually deserve. But over a long period of time with the uh, specific bot, like you'll definitely have a more realistic rank. But yeah, so our rank is improving. Wow, we're already at 1800. I should just keep refreshing. We're doing very good. So yeah, we, we have dropped a ton by just simply going to a bunch of planets and traveling at a high rate of speed. Okay, so we just made a couple of edits and, and we've jumped a lot of ranks. We might even be able to jump over a thousand ranks uh, just with that change. But we immediately can see there are things for us to improve. Even in the games that we've, we've won, um, we just have all these idle ships that should be doing something. They should either be mining and producing more ships or um, they should be... Uh, attacking the other player. So I think the next steps I would do is uh, start to uh, attack the enemy ships with our ships. And when we do that, that means we can actually open up other planets and then we can basically steal that planet and begin to mine it ourselves. So like all these ships could be attacking this guy. We could end the game, but instead we're always pretty much going to go to 300 steps unless we just happen to run into one of them. So anyways, uh, the next step I think we would take would be to start attacking other players. So anyways, that's all for now. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in another video.